you to do that. Right? I need I need you to do that. For you too, you also need I need I need your schedule there too. Because that'll that'll play as a factor in for me here. And then on the back side, this is a sleep tracker, even though it doesn't look that good. I'll figure it out. I'll, fi I'll figure it out. This one. So I put all the ones that you would do yearly on the front and then monthly on the back. So. So like if you look at my yearly to do list, right, the one like on on there. Like, I have album unboxings, photos, event photos I gotta go take when I update the playlist. Like, those are my solid goals, right? So, you're not gonna see this here, right? So, that would be, like, your, um, right? Like, I need that on the side, right? And then... When you do these yearly ones, it's usually for, like progression or like maintenance of something right you're progressing progressing in your goals or maintaining something right like how people maintain water intake and shit like that um mm. i put anxiety log here where you could do like any emotion you could put sadness log happiness log whatever you want to put there but some people, that would apply, this would apply to some people. I'll go back and do it nicely so you could see later. But like I, that might not happen for a while. But I need you to get started on this for like in two, like for two years. So when I look at the data, I'm like, okay, now I know what to do. Oh yeah, and then when I did, during Christine's live when I like because I felt like drawing cards right because I was like oh man I need I'm, I still fell asleep I was trying to keep awake but I fucking couldn't the number card came up and then I realized oh that, like that's for like because she's always collecting data on there so I understand like when the number card shows up for her it's like data right now when I'm looking for why does it never show oh there like, for me, when I, like, if I pull in context to her, this means data, right? But I don't know about the others, what this means when I see this. <clears throat> Monthly ones, when you track them, they're usually for, like, health reasons, right? Like, they're mental or they're physical. So that's why I put a sleep one here. Sleep would be helpful for me so I can tell the motherfuckers I ain't lazy. I'm just prioritizing my health, motherfucker. <laughs> They're usually for habit type things, right? Like exercise, sleeping, going without a screen or social media for so long, right? Like going without your phone or like online for so long, listening to podcasts, practicing an instrument, those types of things, right? The show where your time's invested. I could do one to like track how many books I read and things like that, right? Like I could, right? Like it's a nice way to like gauge where I'm headed, right? I'll do it nicely. It looks like, it looks, it looks pretty fucked right now. But if I do it nicely, it'll look good. I know what I'm going to track, but I can't tell you yet. Ian does this too, you know. He does the... Because I drew them there because I was like, well, for some reason... Because when he, he, when he feels a certain way, you'll see the moons, right? But for me, like, he does that based on, like, he's switching, right? But for me, when I have emojis there, I'm doing it based on intensity, right? So when you see, like... Let's use a laughing one, for example. Like, when I have three, like, I'll have, like, one laughing emoji there, right? Versus, like, three. 
versus the one where it's like rolled over because I'm showing you the intensity of how I'm feeling, right? Like laughter wise. The one thing I want, uh, uh, oh my God. I think I know what I would do here. I don't want to tell you about a track here, right? Because I'll show Ian later, but it's so fucking hilarious. Anyhow, point being, do this for do this for like two years. I need you to do that for two years. Because when I when I finally reach up with you and I know what's going on, you gotta trust. You have to put some real trust in me, right? Anyhow, trackers. Basic common sense shit, trackers, and now we're on to the last part. I talked about this because, like, I titled it. Oh, <laughs> I already talked about this, but attracting what you deserve versus putting the work into becoming it, right? Because I know you're capable of embodying what you want. Using that train of thought now. I started writing all of this. Then I started looking at like, because you're already doing the gratitude and affirmations thing. So I was like, you know what? Let me look at affirmations. Because I never, this is stuff, like I don't, you guys are so like. I never had to deal with stuff like this. Watching you guys is making me like need to like I've never I never had to like deal with this till now. You know what I mean? And then while I was doing the affirmation thing, I realized Ian does this too, right? And then I was like, oh my god. And then that's why I ended up doing the lyric analysis. Then I end up writing that thing there. So like I need to thank you. <laughs> If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have fucking noticed. Why am I so slow? And then I ended up channeling his energy and I was like, fuck, like, I need to focus on one person at a time. But anyways, I'm helping you because the thing, you're helping me, so let me see. Okay, you do this, right? <clears throat> when I track, it's gonna be in here. I'm not gonna tell you yet because when it happens, I gotta figure it out. I'll figure it out. Mm. You do this, right? With the with these, I don't have nice ones. I wish I had nice ones. I got these basic bitch ones. Okay. I'm gonna use Ian's energy here, okay? Because you should be thanking him that I'm here in the first place, hoping to explain this shit to you. This is the one I would write for you, right? <laughs> I'm borrowing Ian's energy here. If, if it works, you have to energetically give him back the interest, okay? <laughs> I modified it a little bit because it's gotta be in right affirmation form. I didn't I never have to do this shit. My writing is so ugly. Okay, for yours, I would write this. Right? You uh, borrow. <laughs> uh. I don't know if Ian's noticed this, but he uses a lot of affirmations and then that draws in a lot of people. So for you, I'm going to put, I've discovered how to turn my sorrows into pure gold, right? So like, once this starts working, you owe him the interest. I'm just the middle person here, okay? <laughs> 
he does this a lot and i didn't notice till now until i started channeling your channeling your energy and i was like oh fuck so that's the one i would give you right any good stuff that happens after that send back his way because he'll come back to me right and then for him I understand now why his guardian told me, like, I won't be able to channel when I'm with him now. Which, <laughs> I don't know if that's problematic or not. Then, flowers came back in time because I told him all the fucking dead showed up. And then, they restored my lifespan. I'm at full life again. I'm going to be at full strength next year, but I'll be at full, I'm at full, li like, life right now. And then I got pissed with them because when I had, when it was my own, I could leverage with my life, right? But like now, like I can't leverage with theirs, which is really fucking annoying. <clears throat> when I go back, there's a lot of, there's a lot of shit I got to deal with when I go back. When you're calling for me, right? Flowers came back now just in time. So like when you're calling for me, you, um, call for flowers because he'll just relay it back to me, okay? <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do this. He acquired the skill. He needs to help me when I, when I go back. But anyhow... I understand what Ian's guardian meant now, like, that I, can't, I won't be able to read. It's gonna feel like back before, like, I went through all this tragic shit. That God's gonna, this God's gonna like him because he's returning me back to my original state. Fuck. Now I'm kind of worried because, like, now I don't know if I'm gonna go through some more fucking trauma now here. Because I can never hold on to anything that made me happy. So, like, I don't know. Nothing will be like how it was once. Right? Everybody's so fucking traumatized. Right? It can't go back to the way it was. Right? So now in the back of my mind, since he said that, like, I have, like, that fear that, you know, something could take him from me. Which is what I really, which is what I, making me sick to my stomach. Ian doesn't like when I do the unboxings, but like, Oh, fuck, why can't my, my brain just went blank?
I just lost my train of thought with them. It's a vicious cycle. It feels like... When I do the unboxings, I feel like... He couldn't see me without them... He couldn't see himself without me, and I can't see- he couldn't have seen- Fuck, how do I explain this? It's a- it's a cycle. He couldn't have seen me without- Fuck, why- my brain- Fuck, my brain is done for the day. It's fucking, it's past one o'clock anyways. It's already the next day. It's Monday, February 19th today. Great. Flowers, help me out here. Like, I, my brain hurts. Y'all can't see them without me. Flowers, help me. Fuck. Anyways, it's an it's a vicious cycle, right? Because right, like I, he couldn't see me without them, and I can't see. Fuck. Why I can't- oh my god, this is gonna fucking bother me now. Anyways, my point being, fuck. My point being is that like he's here, right? He doesn't see himself. He's just like you. He sees himself here and I'm like up here, right? So he thinks at some point I might drop him from one of these other motherfuckers, which isn't going to happen because from my point of view, he's here. I don't know where I am. We're like roughly around the same, right? And everybody else is fucking here, right? And then I know for sure he he's going to rise up here. Right? At least he's got to do the work. To I know this is going to happen. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's nobody after Ian. I'd rather fucking die alone. So now I'm scared now to write this affirmation here. Because me writing it will put it into existence. Ugh. But I did, I did like the easy part of the, of the work here. When I do the unboxings, it had to be Ian's energy. Because for me, I have to bring these, because Ian wouldn't understand here, right? Because I brought them all back to life when they're like near death, right? I felt their energy go off, right? Ian's got the hard job now where he's got, he's got a, like, they, they're, he's like, Fuck. He's been through it already, right? He knows how hellish it is in that situation. And now he's like out of it, right? 
So I just brought them back to life. He's got to help them out of the, the whatever fucking situation they're in now. Because I can feel that they all want out now, but the, I can't help them there. Ian's got the hard part to help them. I hope he realizes that. I'm not looking at them to like, you know, I'm not abandoning your ass. That's not happening. Otherwise, it would have been pointless to live this long. And I have a real issue to take up with them when I go back. I'm gonna curse them all. <clears throat> That's the point of the unboxings. Because without it, I couldn't... He couldn't see without... without he couldn't see me without them, and I couldn't have seen... Fuck, I can't someone help me. <laughs> Anyhow, now I'm scared to write this because I don't know how the uh, fuck I had this the the odds of me losing him are increasing as uh, as we speak and it's fucking uh, driving me nuts. That's the one I would write for him. Years I put, I've discovered how I turn, how to turn my sorrows into pure gold, which you gotta like, energetic wise, like, that's, <laughs> Ian's helping you there, I'm just the middle person. And for him, I would put, I'm rising to my potential, right? So now that I've written two of them, you have to write one for, I, could, I already know what I would write for me, but I prefer you to write one for me. I have a few of them here. I'll write them and then I'll post them online because I already I I told you already there's three one three photos I had to go take. I already the fruit one. For you the second one's gonna be this because it's around the same lines of what I was gonna do here, but I was waiting for it to warm up and then I gotta do the other one. <clears throat> yeah, you'll see them there. I hope I write them nice. My handwriting's so ugly. I oh god. Yeah, and that's it. Then I have my lyric analysis here. I gotta read in between the lines. Lisa's so blind. Write a good one for me. Oh, when I I read Ian's energy last couple of days, I know, I know. So don't yell at me. <laughs> I read his energy last couple of days, and all the happiness, the freedom, and the and the luck cards came out, and I was like, holy shit, his energy is so good right now. This one. Okay, last few things to tie up. After I channeled your energy, two things came up, right? I wanted to ask you, 
if failure and rejection are the same thing right because i don't understand i keep feeling those two come up but i don't like i don't understand the distinction between the two right and once you define that for me then i'll have a clear understanding of like where to go from there then the other one is i don't understand the term household name like i don't understand what that means because i feel like you explaining to me will probably give it a negative connotation but i don't understand why you see it that way so i need you to explain it to me And then I'm going to tell you this, even though I need to tell the others, right? Um, I already asked for like tree photos and umbrella photos, right? Like this time I need you guys to help me here with whatever you're seeing outside a window. I need to take, well, I'm not taking a window photo, but, like, I need that perspective. It would be helpful. It's important for the energy I interact with now. Because I told you I'm no longer a timepiece here. Now I feel like tree energy, because them see me as an earth energy, right? The, the easiest way I could explain this is fuck so there's this tree right there's other trees around but there's this tree okay and there's these children that have taken a liking to this tree right it's like that's their tree. Even though there's a whole bunch of other ones around, they really like this one for whatever fucking odd reason, okay? So then they start leaving memories on that tree, right? They tie things to the tree. They carve things on the tree. They fall asleep in the fucking tree. <laughs> things like that, right? Then one day when they go to go see their favorite tree, the tree's missing, Okay? This is the easiest way I can explain this to you, right? The tree's now missing. And now they're all upset. Or like, I don't know if the tree's missing or someone chopped the tree down, right? So, for whatever reason, instead of going to the next tree over and making new memories, these children never forgot this tree, right? So now when the tree energy comes back, they're going to be like, holy shit. I already told you they're looking at me like an earth energy. So I'm going to be nearby, but I'm not going to allow them to see me. Because I feel like the moment they see me, all that, like, all of that, like, the feelings rush back. And I don't want them to feel any type of way. Right? They're probably all taller than me now. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure because it's been so long, they can probably stand their own ground now, right? Like, they got strong on their own two feet. They're just gonna, right? Like, I don't want them to see, I don't want, like, all, like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I'm leaving them a paper trail, I hope they fucking notice. Yeah, I need I need all of y'all to help me with the the window perspective thing. Cuz that god found a way to compromise with me now, right? So like <laughs> I told you he was hovering. He's got too much fucking free time. All he had to do was come out and say, "Oh yeah, Lisa, I want to spend some more time cuz we're not going to get any time together later." And I was like, "Why didn't you just fucking, you know, all that's all he had to do was tell me that, right?" Again, I can't read fucking minds. I was like, I can sense that you're there. I just don't understand why. <clears throat> so I said I was going to leave because I've been reading, right? So I was like, I want to leave him whatever book I find suitable, right? I'm going to fi find a good book and leave it there for him, right? <clears throat> 
But then I was upset because the last time he came to see me, because he won't, he he's busy now. He's not gonna come see me for a while. He said to stop reading. He told me there's no need to read anymore. He's like, "Is that what you were doing?" I was like, "Aren't you God? Shouldn't you know? Can't you? Can't you read minds?" <laughs> he said he couldn't tell my intention. He's like, "Lisa, why are you reading these books so intently?" And I was like, "To leave one there for you. Why else would I be reading so many?" And then he told me stop. He said, "You all." Uh, he said, "I already." there's already a book there and I was like what are you talking about He said, I left you our book back when I was a child, right? And I was like, are you talking about a picture book? He said, yeah, you wouldn't have been able to read anything else then, right? And I was like, what are you, oh my god. So I told him, where's the book and which book? Do I gotta go get a new copy of it? And he said, it's downstairs. Right, he's he showed me which one. I was like, How did you know it was in that fucking room? And then Yeah, anyways, he told me to stop reading. But I told him I'm not I'm not gonna stop because he because he said I'm gonna hate it when I go back. But anyways, I can fucking knock that out when I get back. But anyhow, I have a few more before I'm done. I'm almost done. <laughs> he said this book. He said you guys have to burn this when I'm dead, right? Burn this so I can uh, take this over there. He said this book. He said this book perfectly represents me and him. And I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you do know I'm not a play thing, right? I was like... <laughs> he said if you look at it, it's full of color. It's wintry because I like snow things. It's full of, like, candy. He's explaining it to... Oh my god, I feel like crying. But I hate those when I told I remember reading this as a kid, but I don't remember where this fucking book came from. And he said he made sure I would be able to read this when I when I came back to 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 live this time, right? And it's full of like magic. I have to freaking restore the book because I remember reading this as a child. And I fucking damaged the book with fucking crayon. Now I gotta figure out how to clean this before, like, I, he told me it has to be this copy. 